everyone, this is Amy. I appreciate you taking time to stop by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a Bravo 5 leaf flower bundle, I guess because I'm going to actually be using three flowers in this little spray or bundle on this little rock. The rock is actually natural. I haven't, other than cleaning it off, haven't done anything else to it. So I'm just going to paint directly on the rock. I am going to be using a one stroke brush. It's a number six flat brush. It's a Donna Dewberry uh, flat brush by Plaid. And then the number four Deerfoot Stippler. Paint I'm using is Eggplant Thicket Warm White Fresh Full Moon Yellow. This as a combination of multi-surface and enamel paints. They're all folk art products. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start by double loading my brush with the eggplant and the warm white. And I am just going to be using these two colors for the flower petals. And just going to start, I want to use the lighter color at the top. And then do my five petal flowers. I am going to be changing the color going from the light on the outside to the light on the bottom. I like to do this on some of these flowers. It just gives a little bit more interest if you play around with that a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. But it actually gives it a nice, it's a nice interest to it when it's, you kind of change the colors around a little bit. And then I'm going to add another little flower over this way. Now on this one I'm reversing it, doing the eggplant on the outer part of the petals. And I'm going to have the light coming up this way, or down this way I should say. Now, if you were trying to stay within what you would perceive as the where the light source is coming from, you wouldn't be doing it this way. I'm doing it this way just to give it some interest. Purely, it's not a artistic, you know, as far as a way to do stuff, as far as the light sources and all that go. All right, so on this one. And I'm going to do a little bit of dark, come around a little bit of dark again, and what I'm going to do is actually do, let me make sure I have my brush going in the right direction, do some of these pulls at the bottom with the lighter color on the exterior part of the petal. Just paint over it if you want to. If you feel like you just need a better, uh, better coat of paint on it, or just to freshen up a petal, if you don't think it was as clean and crisp as you had wanted, up to you. So then I'm going to brush this brush off. I'm not washing it. I'm just brushing it off, and then I'm going to dip into my petal colors, and this is for the the leaves, not the petals for the flower, but the leaves. And then I am just going to go around, and I pulled too much purple out there, but I'm going to and just do a little bit of a, just a wavy, wavy petal uh, leaf, not a, not a petal as far as a flower petal goes, but a leaf, and then bring it down like that. And then I'm just going to pull a stem through the center, like so. I'm finding myself off. Dang, I'm sorry if I did this whole video off screen. I apologize. Not my intention. 
And I'm going to do it again down here. I pulled a little purple, that's fine. And the reason I said that's fine is when you throw in another color, you know, like a third color, sometimes that just, just adds a little bit more interest to the painting. And it's fine if you end up doing that. Now the way this leaf turned out, if you don't want to do a stem down the center, you don't really have to because it kind of gives it a natural, natural look of a stem down the center, even if it's not. And we're just going to keep going here. I kind of want to go ahead and do a dark one on this side. Just kind of changing it up a bit. But I like when you have light on one side and dark on the other side. I really like these type of leaves. Again, because of the natural way it plays out, you don't have to actually put a stem, but if you want, go right ahead and do so. And I'm going to do one more. I normally don't like to do pairs in even numbers, but for this I am going to. And I'm sorry, my furnace, or not furnace, it's actually my air conditioner. I'm thinking furnace, that doesn't sound right, but it just kicked on, so I apologize. I, I do my videos in my utility room in the basement. There you go. There's so many ways to do your, your leaves really just so many ways and if you want to take some time to add just some easy leaves like this you can do that too very simple just do them and pull them if you want to put a stem in them go right ahead if you want to leave them you can do that too It's just very pretty. You know, can you imagine this sitting in a flower pot or sitting in on a shelf in your home? Maybe even, you know, in a, in a garden. And I'll tell you, the surface is so much fun to paint on. You get better coverage, I think, than you do when you're painting on glass. Definitely. So I like that part already. And so we're just going to come down like this. Very simple, very relaxing. Can you imagine yourself maybe doing a Zoom party and having your friends paint? Easy flowers, very easy. All my work is, is meant to be easy for beginner painters. And I like easy, I like quick and easy. So I'm going to do my centers with this Deerfoot Stippler. I have the yellow to the top of the, the, what I would consider the front, and then the wicker white, or I'm sorry, warm white is to the back. And I'm just tapping it on. You can do it separately if you wish. be able to give you a, a crisper, cleaner center, but I kind of like the, just kind of the muddled on this, very pretty, it's very simple, that's all there is to it, quick and easy, and it's pretty, what a pretty little gift, nice little paper holder, sit it on your shelf, it in a bathroom, you know, in any kind of uh, arrangement that you have around your house, makes a cute little gift. Very easy to do. Such a great DIY project. Anyways, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And before you leave, hit the share button underneath share this video on your social network works with your family and friends. I'd appreciate it. All right. Thanks so much. 
take care of yourself, stay well, and until the next time, you have a good one.